AI is taking the art world by storm and the music scene is no different. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use AI to sound like Drake, Kanye West, Little Uzi Vert, Juice World, and more. And I don't mean sound kind of like, I mean sound exactly like them. Nothing good has ever came from waiting for the day that they finally bring your name up. I'm gonna make it change. Nothing good has ever came from waiting for the day that they finally bring your name up. I'm gonna make it change. The program we'll be using is called Sovitz SVC. SVC stands for Singing Voice Conversion. And this program converts one voice to another voice using a model and data set. This tutorial is strictly for installation purposes and I won't be providing any models. However, I will have a channel link below called Ask and Conquer, who usually keeps an up-to-date Discord link on their profile where you can go and ask more about models, where to get models, and how to share models. The only models I'll be working with in this video are completely legal as they are an Uzi clone model I trained myself off the lyricist and vocalist Uzi clone who makes remixes and covers of Little Uzi songs. And that's why hopefully I should sound quite a lot like Little Uzi when we're done. We will have to do a little bit of coding during this tutorial, but don't worry because all the links as well as the code that we'll need will be linked below with an in-depth description of where and when to type it. To start, go ahead and go to anaconda.com and download Anaconda. Anaconda is a program that allows us to run a private Python environment on our PC so we don't interact with the rest of the Python coding. And for those of you who have never done coding before, it also provides pre for Python that you might need during this process. Once you have it downloaded and installed, go ahead and head to the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Before you start installation, two things. Make sure that this is located in your C drive or wherever your main hard drive is as this needs to be installed on your main hard drive or it won't work. The models themselves can be placed on an external hard drive, but the actual program, Sovitz SVC, needs to be on your main hard drive. And a few other things that I wanted to mention, if any time during the installation process it seems things are taking a long time, that is just something that is part of the course and it is important that you don't close out of it or exit during the installation process as that can mess things up. And another thing, do not install this unless you have at least 10 gigabytes free on your main hard drive. I don't think it even takes up that much space in the end, but it needs at least that much space to be able to install. The first thing we'll be doing is creating a conda environment. And remember, all this code will be pasted below in the description as well, but you can just follow along here. If you type conda create and then dash dash name, you can name the environment whatever you want. Just make sure you remember the name for later because that's what we'll be using to activate the environment and open up Sovitz SVC. I'm gonna be naming mine Petro because I already have one named Sovitz SVC, but I suggest you name yours Sovitz SVC. And then remember what you name the environment because we'll need to activate it again every time we wanna run the application. It should give you a prompt asking Y or N, which is yes or no, and just type Y and press enter. We have now created this environment. To enter the environment, you're just gonna type Conda activate and then whatever the name of the environment you just created is. Now that we're inside of the environment, no need to panic. There's only three lines of code that we need to run, and you probably could run them all at once, but I find it a lot safer to run them one by one. So we're gonna start with this Python line here. I already have Python installed, so there's no need for me to run this line. And once you have it installed, just go ahead and head to this next line here. This next line is installing the PyTorch, and it's only valid for NVIDIA graphics card users. If you're an AMD user, I'll have a separate code pasted below, and that's what you'll need to paste instead. For us PC users, just copy and paste the code and install. And with both those simple steps out of the way, all we need to do now is install the Sovitz SVC fork. To do that, just copy and paste this last line of code here into the Conda environment, and that will install Sovitz SVC for you. This will take quite a while, so if after about 10 or 15 minutes it's not moving or it seems to be stuck, do not quit out as this can mess up the installation. Make sure to give it the time that it needs to install. I believe it did take me around 30 minutes to install, and there was a few points where it did appear to be frozen. Once Sovitz is finished installing, all you have to type is SVCG, and it should open up the graphical interface for Sovitz SVC. And there we go. And let me show you a little bit about how it works. First of all, you're gonna wanna click browse and then guide it to the model. And like I said, I cannot provide you with any models, but if you go to Ask and Conquer's page below, there'll be a Discord, which usually has some good ways to find models or train your own. The model I'll be using is trained off of Uzi Clone, like I said earlier, who makes little Uzi Burt covers. So I should sound a lot like little Uzi. As far as these settings go, there's not much that you should need to change. The only thing you'll need to change is turning this octave to zero. That's what works best for me. And then you can go ahead and browse it towards some audio. And for me, I'm just gonna use an example of me singing. Whatever file you're using must be a wave and preferably an acapella without any auto-tune on it. 
Now all you need to do is click infer and you should be able to hear what it sounds like. I need a touch up, pushing all my buttons in a row is where you fucked up. Left myself a note inside my system, what your bot does. And remember, that's with bad quality audio of me singing. Imagine what that would sound like if we put it back through autotune. And also, that model isn't even trained on the official Uzi Vert, it's actually Uzi Clone. So imagine what someone could do with a model trained on an actual artist. Anytime you want to use Sobit's SVC again in the future, just open up Anaconda and then type in Conda Activate in whatever you named your environment earlier. I'll have an example of that on screen. And once you do this, all you need to do is type in SBCG and that'll start back up the GUI once again. If you don't have a powerful enough PC to run this and you're still looking for a way to run Sovitz SVC, I'll have a tutorial link below to a Google Collab method in which you can use Google Collab to run this. And I'll also be doing a tutorial soon on how to train your own vocal models. I hope this video was straightforward and easy to use. If you have any issues or troubleshooting questions, leave them below and I'm more than happy to help. I think it's super important in the future that this technology is open source, especially knowing the greediness of corporations and what they have done in the past and what they'll be willing to do in the future. If you want more tutorials, tutorials and content on AI, Blender, music production, and all sorts of technological stuff in general, go ahead and follow the channel and there'll be tons of more stuff coming. So much love and